Hello, this is the real, authentic, original, one and only, official, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no imposters in Missouri. And don't send any money to the imposter post office box in Missouri, because he is not George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. He's a phony. And he doesn't have Art Bell and alien heads. And kitties and 3,000 plus 3,000 videos over 3,000 now. All right, this is Berg unboxing, and the only problem this is just as long as the one I've got, I think, or the boxes anyway. All right, this comes from oh my god, Independence, Missouri. <laughs> I can't escape Missouri, no matter what I do. Home of Harry Truman. All right, and we'll open this up. I know what it is, but. I bought this, folks. This is another reason I have no money. Because every time I go by this corner, I knock the McAlli keyboard on the floor, and I'm worried I'm going to step on it and break it. So I had one of these, but what I do one day, I stepped on it and broke it. And I was kneeling to let to move stuff for the Comcast guy before my mother died, and... Uh, I um, stepped on the LCD and cracked it and figured, screw it, I can't get it fixed. So, I don't, you know. All right, this box came a bit, a bit beat up. Let's hope the keyboard is not the same. And how the hell do I open this? It's been taped on one end. It doesn't matter, I can't see it anyway. All right. You slide out this long cardboard thing, and this is for Mac. It might or might not work for uh, um, in for uh, uh, Microsoft. I can't read it either, so we'll just have to figure that out later. All right, this is the K750 wireless solar keyboard for Macintosh, and I will show you the box. What's inside? We have the instruction manual, the cardboard that keeps it from moving around, and there's something wrapped going around in here. Here is the keyboard with the cover for the... so this is, uh, oh, I don't know, three inches smaller than the one I'm using, but this is a solar keyboard. Well, this is interesting. One of the cheap. One of the key. Well, this is not good. I hope this still works. Luckily, with my knowledge of Apple computing products, I was able to fix that one. Uh, he's got this tape, so I guess he knew about this. Hmm. The inner key is broken. Okay, I got no. I have to look at the description to see if he mentioned this or not. The side inner key for the keypad is broken. It won't stay on. So that's disturbing. Uh, I don't always read the descriptions, and I guess I should. Uh, maybe I can. Oh, okay. It's an easy fix if. All I've got to do is move this tab. This is, if you ever have this problem on the space bar, you carefully. This goes back to. Oh, boy. Okay, now I see what he did. He broke that off. There's a bar that goes across here, and that's been broken off. That's why it won't stay on. I'll have to... Uh, see if I can jury-rig something. Mm. 
I don't know if it's going to affect or not, but I'll have to look at the description. Anyway, in the box is also, I feel like secondhand rose and everything that's new. Okay, I thought this was unused. Here are the dongles for it, and here is, I'm not sure what the USB dongle. So anyway, this is a Bluetooth dongle and, and some kind of, I'll figure this out later. Anyway, that's the keyboard. We'll get this, see if I can get this to work. And then I can take the Macaulay and put it in the bedroom. And I don't know what I'm going to do about this inner key. Maybe I'll just um, tape it loosely so it won't be pushing down inner all the time. And I'm going to turn it on. Dinner dancing the show. Um, it has not been charged apparently. So I'm going to have to put this under a real light source to get it to work. There is the, on um, up here is the button to turn it on. And, but it needs to be under a real light, so I'll have to work with this. But anyway, this is it. This is it. But that key went on fine. But a lot of keyboards have this wire underneath, and if that breaks, you're in trouble. But uh, I don't know why this got broken. And I'll just have to deal with it. All right, that's this item. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. I'll see what I can do. I can fix almost anything. Maybe I can use this piece of plastic to um, do something with that. I don't know. All right. Have a great day and stay warm, wet, dry, or safe out there. And remember, you can donate to me at George Senda, 815 Court Street, number 786 Martinez, California, 94553, or through PayPal at falky2013 at gmail.com. And my Amazon wish list will be posted along with my Cafe Press store. So we'll figure out if this keyboard works. And I'll let you know when I get the time. I got more videos to do here. There's six or seven more boxes. All right. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Bye-bye for now.